the ocean and atmospheric climate, and this is true climate, and remember, climate is the in integration of weather over at least 25 to 30 years. So if you can see trends over that kind of time interval, you've got real climate change, just as an aside. So we're now talking about data sets that go thousands of years to tens of thousands of years. And in that time interval, we talk about Milankovitch cyclicity. Now, Milan Milankovitch was a mathematician. He identified orbital cycles that show what happens with the Earth's tilt and how it sort of wobbles like a, like a top, and that's called precession, and that's a 20,000-year cycle. How much it leans on its axis, and that's a 40,000-year cycle, and that's obliquity. And then eccentricity is how circular the Earth's orbit is. So it goes from a circle to an ellipse, and that's a roughly 100,000 year cycle. And so people like me that do paleoceanography, our data very, very strongly reflects those cycles because they're really, really big changes. And you know, sea level changes by 120 meters from just 25,000 years ago, the sea level was down that far. And there was kilometers of ice over North America and Northern Europe, all the way down to New York City. New York City has glacial striations in Central Park, which indicate there was kilometers of ice there, right? That was sort of the end of it. You have that kind of real dramatic changes in climate over these thousands of years time scale.